Welcome. Some chocolate milk. Right. I'm going to show you something really cool here. So, get your glasses. Turn the TV down. Whatever you got to do. You, you got to pay attention to this. I'm going to show you pivot table. Unpivot. You got to know about unpivot. And um, what else? So you some other things in Power Query. So, yes, please go and get your glasses, turn your hearing aid up, whatever you got to do. Okay. Look at what's here. We've got names and area codes. Canadian area codes. A friend wanted to do this. I don't know why, but it was important. Look at this. There are 1,331 names, and they all have area codes, and the objective was match the area codes with the Canadian provinces. I don't know anything about Canada. I was uh, visiting my friend Leslie up in uh, Detroit once and um, I looked across the water at Canada. <clears throat> I thought about going, I had my passport on me but then a friend of mine who does live in Canada, she was talking about Northern Ontario. And I asked her, well, what's north of Ontario? And she said nothing. So I'm there in Detroit. I'm remembering this and I'm thinking nothing. There's some big hole that I drive across and mess around in North Ontario and drive into some big old hole that empties out into the galaxy and then I'm somewhere out across the Milky Way and run out of gas. That wasn't going to be me. So I didn't go to Canada. Anyway. <clears throat> there's places called like Manitoba and Yukon and British Columbia Alberta and these area codes are tied to those somehow hmm so this is a classic need to have source data and a master list so let's do it this way let me show you this so we've got source data And we've got names and we've got area codes. So what we need is a master list that says, okay, area code, area code, area code, area code, and then a province so that we can say this matches here, this goes here, this goes here match there whatever that's the goal here and how we'll do this is through the use of VLOOKUP that's how we're gonna do this that's how we're gonna match make this match happen but now <clears throat> I've got to warn you, there are some people that are very much against VLOOKUP, that is index match people. And I'm going to show you how you can recognize them. Okay, they'll have bags under their eyes. 
and the eyes of bloodshot. And you know what this is? That's the road back to the bar. The problem that we have right now is we don't have a master list. So we're gonna use Power Query. So we've got our names and our area codes and this is what we're gonna do to get a master list. We are going to go to Power Query and do an online search. Let's see. Area Codes Canada. Canada by state and province. Yes, we got it. All right. What I want to do now, I want to load this data. Cool. All right, so Excel has brought it in in a table, and this is beautiful. We've got Alberta. British Columbia, we got the Prince Edward Islands, Quebec, great. Now, what we want to do, we have a problem because 403-587-780, that is not going to help us because we need to be able to look for a 780 and match it up with Alberta. So we've got to get this out of here. Oh, and we don't need this key. So I'm going to delete this column. Great. How are we going to separate these out? We are going to do text to columns. Data, text to columns, and they are delimited with a comma, next, comma, okay, next, and finish. So these are all in their own columns. Great. Everything is in its own column. But now we still can't use a VLOOKUP yet because we need to be able to look for the 807 and tie that to Ontario. So back to Power Query. Power Query. And I'm going to click from table i want to get i want to excel data from table great so i've got the data now and what i want to do is unpivot this because this looks like a pivot table so what we're going to do now is transform and then I like this column. Unpivot other columns. I could highlight these other columns, but it's easier to go ahead and click this one because it's the only one that we're not going to pivot. Okay, unpivot other columns. Boom. Yes. So now we've got Alberta, these four. Okay. British Columbia, Ontario, everything is all separated out. I don't need this column. Now we're ready. Now we are ready. We've got 42, no, 43 area codes matched up with the province. So let me see. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and boom, close and load. And one thing about VLOOKUP is it does have to look to the right. And since we're going to be looking at uh, looking up the area code to match it up with the province, we've got to reverse this. So what I'm going to do. I don't need this column. Call this. Area code. And I want to name this table. I want to call it. Codes. Let's go back to my source data. Let's put this source data into a table. All right, so now let's say now let's do the V lookup. equals V look up look up value is going to be the area code comma we want to be in the codes table comma two steps if we were looking for this 705, that would be step one, but we want Ontario to be retrieved. So that's gonna be two, comma, false, close parenthesis, enter. There it is. It's beautiful. Elsie Kessie in Quebec. Merlin Carver in Alberta. So there's something happening with his 226. So 226 is turning into being an issue. Two two six. Let's check to see. So two two six is not on our master list, but that would be easy to get. So You've seen what needed to be seen here. We have the list. It was easy to do. We had to realize what our challenge was. We had source data and we needed to create a master list because we had those 1300 names to match up against 42 provinces. That's a VLOOKUP challenge, but we needed the master list. So we used Power Query to do an online query and bring the data into Excel. And because it was comma separated and looked like a pivot table, we had to unpivot it. So we did Power Query and transform, and then we unpivoted those columns that had the area codes in them, then we were able to do our VLOOKUP. Easy stuff. Anyway, all right, that's it. And remember to stay away from that edge of Ontario. You might fall into this hole and end up floating out in the galaxy. All right, be safe. Keep your data clean.